Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you today about how to deal with witchcraft attacks, specifically when the enemy is, um, you know, throwing attacks your way that's causing you to now overeat. So, number one, um, the first thing you want to do when you are up under witchcraft attacks if you're able to, you know, begin to identify who the enemy is operating through, okay? Because um, one of the ways how the enemy is successful at, you know, causing their target to overeat is because, number one, either the, the target is unaware of who the enemy is operating through, or maybe the person is aware that this this particular person they're watching, you know, uh, or observing or listening to or have surrounded themselves with, you know, maybe they are aware that the enemy is operating through them. But however, they're sitting there and they listening to the things that are coming out of the enemy's mouth. They hear what the enemy is saying about them. Right. And as a result, it's now causing you, the person who the enemy is targeting to now go and overeat. So the first thing you want to do is to begin to identify who is the enemy, who is, who has the door open to the enemy, and now the enemy has crept in and now is operating through these particular people. It can be your spouse, it can be your parents, it can be family members such as brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunties, okay? It could be close friends, it could be uh, co-workers. It could be your haters, okay? But um, as soon as you begin to identify, okay, the enemy is operating through this particular person or these particular people, you want to move away from these individuals. You want to stop listening to them. Uh, because again, when you hear what is being said about you and it's untrue, if it's hurtful, and let's say God is telling you to be quiet because he has plans on vindicating your name. So now, you know, um, you know, it might move you into a, a space where now you're stuffing your emotions right with food because you know you hear what what things are the, the things the enemy is saying about you right so identify the enemy and then remove yourself from them you know stop listening to them stop hanging around them you know um and stop watching you know like just don't observe the enemy because again depending on whatever you see that can cause you to now go and overeat okay so that's number one the second um, thing I would say about how to deal with witchcraft attack is, okay, if they causing, if they sending things your way to, uh, or doing things to cause you to overeat, of course you want to, um, you know, go to the gym. If you, if you're not in a position to afford a gym membership, you could go on YouTube, and I like to do Leslie uh, one mile walk. You know her one, she got a one mile walk, two mile walk, three, four, five mile walk, right? So you could go on YouTube and type in, you know, some exercise videos, okay? And you can do them from home. Now, the purpose of you getting some exercise in because it will help to reduce the stress, okay? And be when you are up under heavy stress, it will cause you, you know, to overeat, okay? So we're gonna find different ways on how we can reduce the stress, okay? And remove away from the very thing that is, that is causing you to overeat so going to the gym to release the stress and exercise or you can do some workout videos at home the third um way how you deal with the enemy when they are when you are up under witchcraft attacks um so last year when i was up under the, the attack of the enemy i had my own nutritionist at that time and i was sharing with her how I went through a, a period of overeating, you know, and I knew part of it was me stuffing my emotions. You know, I was very angry last year, you know, um, and so she began to recommend to me, she said, okay, well, here's what you can do. She began to tell me to uh, load up on um, the protein, right? She was like, whenever I, um, you know, like, whenever I start, like, my cravings come up, she was like, sometimes, you know, the cravings, when they come up or when you start feeling hungry, you might not really be hungry. She was like, load up on the protein or even drink your water. So I highly recommend you could go on Amazon and buy one of these little bottles. This is a gallon. Fill this up every day. Have it in your uh, refrigerator. 
and just pull it out and keep it with you all throughout the day and you're just drinking your water. Each time you feel hungry, drink your water, okay? But another thing she recommended for me to do, and it, it actually works wonders, okay? She was telling me to go and buy protein bars, okay? So I started with this one. This is the Think this is a Think um, Protein Bars, and you see right here, it's 150 calorie per bar, okay? Now, this box is empty, but it's, here's the size, okay? I just ate one uh, before I record, started this video, but she was telling me to have these everywhere, okay? Um, because it would control, you know, it would control the hunger pains, you know? And so I would put some in my truck while I'm out. You know, that way I'm not stopping at Wendy's. I'm not stopping at McDonald's, but I could go in the glove department and get one of these little bars out and, you know, eat that. It can hold me over until I get home, right? So loading up on protein bars and having them, spread them out. Put some in your bedroom. Put some, you know, um, in your work area. Put them in your, in your vehicle, okay? So that when, when the hunger pains hit you, you can go ahead, get a... um you know, grab a protein bar, something healthy, you know, uh, versus something that has a lot of calories in it. Okay. Uh, same thing. You could do something like with these. She didn't recommend these. <laughs> I just, I bought, I buy these for the children, the kids, uh, for their, for their lunch or whatever, but you see these are hundred calories. Okay. But what I'm getting at here, you know, just really, if you stay prepared, um, you know, if you prepare your meals at nighttime, you know, the, the night before, um, like I, you know, one of the things I do is I prepare like a tuna, uh, fish, um, um, like salad, right. And I will have it, you know, and it's low calorie, right. But that is one of the things I do, you know, that has helped me last year, you know, the, um, like really bring all that overeating down okay like really balance it out okay but like i said begin to identify you know who the enemy is operating through stop looking at them because it is affecting your emotions okay and now it's causing you to emotional eat right another thing is going to the gym so that you can reduce the stress make sure you are drinking your water load up on the protein bars and and you know keep them everywhere keep them in your vehicle keep them in you know the bathroom or your bedroom or in your office okay so that when you uh, get hungry you know you, you're reaching for something healthy and you're not overeating okay um, so those are, you know, those are my tips on how to, you know, deal with witchcraft attacks. Of course, you want to stay in your prayer closet, rebuking and binding. Sometimes you might have to fast, okay? But also know that as you are in your prayer closet, every single day, you're praying without season, you're rebuking, you're binding, you know, uh, you're praying against the attacks of the enemy. You're going to get to a place in God where he's going to place a hedge of protection around you and nothing the enemy throws your way is going to be able to touch you. Okay. You might feel a little, like a little headache, but that might be the only thing that, that gets through. Okay. So continue doing what you're doing, continue praying against the attacks of the enemy and also, you know, um, protect what you're seeing and hearing and, you know, um, load up on the right Make sure you're eating the right food, okay, so that you're not grabbing or reaching for something that is unhealthy, okay? So those are my recommendations and tips. I am Tequila Coleman. Let me know down in the comment section, what are some ways on how you deal with, you know, uh, witchcraft attacks? Let us know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.